Ew. Ah, yeah, man, I had no idea I was being brought up by a child. I feel way less comfortable about the jokes I'm about to do later. Y'all find out. <laughs> Stuff's been uh, weird for me lately. I all of a sudden realized the other day that I wasn't who I thought I was. None of my dreams had come true. I went to this costume party and I realized that being black severely limits your costume options. <laughs> like just for once, I want to be able to go to a costume party dressed as Wolverine and not black Wolverine. <laughs> Tired of this, man. That happened this past Halloween, I was all excited. I'm like, yo, I'm about to dress as Wolverine. I'm going to this costume shop, get these claws. It's going to be so freaking cool. I get to the costume shop. I get to where the claws are at, and the claws got white knuckles on them for no reason. <laughs> I was faced with the choice of either black facing these knuckles <laughs> or going to the same costume as I go as every year. Blade. Now I don't even like Blade, but this is real life. <laughs> There's no time for crying. Stresses me out, man. I deal with it, though. I'm on Xbox Live a lot. I love Xbox Live. Because that's the only place where you can go and just openly shit on little kids, and it's perfectly fine. <laughs> like, I was on there the other day, and I was playing Halo, and I was dominating. I yelled out, yeah! Suck my dick, you fat 10-year-old bitch! And that was perfectly fine. That was all right. <laughs> you can't go to the playground and yell that at some kid that sucks and swings. You can't. I wish you could. And that's exactly what's wrong with America. <laughs> like, if I was to say that same sentence at the playground, I'd get tackled by the police immediately because I dress like a villain in an 80s skateboard movie. I get that. I'm aware. <laughs> Deal with kids a lot, man. I live out in New York. If you ever been to New York and you ride the train, you know that high school kids on the train in New York are just the loudest people on the earth. They're just loud as shit, and it pisses everybody off. But the thing is, you got to listen to them. Because every once in a while, they'll drop some gems on you. Like this happened the other day. I got in the train, these loud ass kids got in. They were just arguing, right? About whatever it was they were arguing about. Then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, one of them gets up, he just goes, nah, nah, step your fruit game up. Pineapples, nigga, I'm out. And then he turns. <laughs> he turns to exit the train, and uh, the door is closed in front of him. He was trapped. He definitely wasn't out. And he like turns back to the dude he was talking to. He's just like, man, fuck. <laughs> and I thought that I'd misheard that kid, right? I thought that there was no possible way I could have heard that kid correctly. But then when the next train stop came, he got up again. He's like, like I said, your grapes ain't doing shit. Pineapple's got them anti-oxidants, nigga. I'm out the door. He stepped back, doors closed. He was like, swag. I was happy for him right there. <laughs> that was a swag salvation, man. <laughs> but I learned a lot from that kid in that moment. Namely, I learned that if you add the word nigga to the end of any statement, it makes it more powerful, maybe even scary. This is a fact. Like, you could be like, man, I gotta get home and feed my cat. I'm like, all right, guess he's gotta get home and feed his cat. <laughs> but if you're like, man, I gotta get home and feed my cat, nigga, all of a sudden I'm like, oh shit, nigga, why are you still here? <laughs> Yo, get that cat fed, man, this is urgent. <laughs> this is true, man, this is a fact. Y'all should try, well, you know, most of y'all probably shouldn't try it, but look, this is real life. <laughs> People make mistakes. <laughs> I uh, do a lot of shows. Sometimes they get weird. I did this one show a while back out in Maryland, the States, in the middle of nowhere at this Elks Lodge in Maryland, right? And I get there and they're telling me that apparently I was the first black performer ever at this Elks Lodge, which was obvious because the people there were so worried about being politically correct that they just completely fall apart every time they talk to me. It's hilarious to watch. Like I got there. And the guy that put the show together, he was like, oh, <laughs> oh, I am so glad you're here. I am so glad you're here. We have a great show lined up. It's going to be great. <laughs> we have free food. You can have whatever you want. <laughs> we got fried chicken. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then, like, the dude who was hosting the show, he's wearing regular clothes, and he sees me, and the first thing he does, he goes, oh, and he runs to the back, and he comes back out wearing this notorious B.I.G. shirt. <laughs> Which is an insane thing to do, but you can tell in his head, he probably thought he was a hero. Like, in his mind, I probably get home the next day and I see my roommate and just like, dog, dog, yo, you're not gonna believe what happened, man. You're not gonna believe what happened. Man, I was doing a show out in Maryland, right? It was full of white people, man. It was nothing but whites, dude. And my roommate's like, man, that sounds like it would have been weird. And I'm like, dude, because of this one dude, it wasn't. 
He was wearing a regular ass white person shirt, you know, just being all corny and white. But then he sees me, runs to the back, throws on his Biggie Small shirt. I felt right at home. And my roommate's just like, damn, dog, he really looked out for you. I'm like, hell yeah, he did. Now let's go break dance. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm Kevin Barnett. Peace. A billboard that reads, remember, statutory rape is a crime. <laughs> remember? <laughs> Harry, how many times have I told you to clean this room? Cut that damn game off and clean this room. I come back and this room ain't clean. I'm gonna take the Nintendo cord, wrap it around your neck and stick it in your ass. I ain't playing with you. This ain't no threat. This a promise. Try me, boy. Try me.